Hello and welcome to Random Shizzle. As you can see, I've just got a drone for the post for myself. I am a big kid, love all this type of stuff. Um, so, I'm going to show you an unboxing of it. It is the Hubson X4 H501-less. And basically, it's what I've been doing a lot of research on good drones for uh, flying well, for camera work and photography, basically. And this has come up trumps for the money, for the budget that I've got. I brought it through Banggood, which is a cracking site. It's from, it's a Chinese, not a Chinese site, but it's a site with a lot of parts from China. It's taken two weeks to get here. That's a hard two weeks when you're really a big kid wanting to play a bit straight away. So let's get open in it. All right. So let's get this open on the front here. I have opened this already, uh, just to check. And um, what I will show you before I do open it is, I don't know what happened in the post, but saying that's obviously been dropped somewhere online. So I have reported it, but the actual product itself is no problem. Let's open it up. Okay. And what we've got here, we've got where the props are. We've got the charger, which actually ain't great on that one. And we have we have the drone itself, the actual main body, and then we also have the remote controller. Let's get that out of there. There we go. Let's get rid of the box. So So there's the remote control, all right, and I will get, and here's the uh, the drone, let's get out of the packaging, got a disclaimer to end you not with flight into people, chop the red off of it, there we go, and there's the drone itself, there's the main body, on one side, also we've got the charger. Now, I've done a lot of, lot of, hell of a lot of uh, uh, research on this, on uh, on the drone itself. I've been told the charger is probably its weakest point. And if you look at it, I mean, that's got a charger battery. And I'm sorry, but that don't look great. It don't look safe, to be fair. It's QC passed, yeah, in China. The knife here. But it's got a two-prong, and... I've got to say that Banggood, when I ask, that it, it, when you order it, it gives you like a little section at the bottom where you have, where you can put your notes in of what of what you want to say about the product or what you what you are, you can ask them for. And I asked them for a UK plug, even an adapt, adapter to help out. And sure enough, they sent me a travel travel plug, which I'm pretty chuffed about because essentially they don't they don't have to. It's a little, obviously, you know, they deal with electronics pretty a lot, but they didn't have to, and they sent it to me, so I was, I was pretty chuffed about that. Also, what else I was really chuffed about as well was when you've got the props, i.e. propellers, um, obviously you have four, right? So one, two, one my OCD, got to line this stuff up. And four. All right. Yeah. Great. But then I found another one. And another one. And what they actually done was they, they sent me a spare set. They sent me a spare set of props. So there's another one. There's another one there. And another one. For those of you who like high on pace. So... Well, chuffed to that. Also, as part of the package, you get this, which puts the props on, uh, which helps out with uh, turning it and adjusting, adjusting the props and uh, and also uh, sorting out the engines and so on. And also, this is this is what surprises me. I did order one of these. The only difference between this and the one I've ordered, the one I've ordered actually folds flat onto the screen is the sunshade nothing in the description telling me that there's a sunshade with it it's cost about four or five pound um yeah 
and then this this thing just slots on the top of the screen like that so you can see the screen uh, with the sun out and it stops the that stops the glare and everything so it gave me spare props it gave me the sunshade and I will chuffed with it so the battery for this um, I've got on charge right now so I can at least give it a fly depending on the conditions in the next few days but the reason I got this one was was because I wanted something that could take good pictures and also give me some good video obviously just starting up the YouTube channel uh, I really needed some kind of some kind of good footage so and give me some different type of footage as well the more different different types of footage I can get the the better the, the viewing and the better you guys the more you guys are going to be entertained so this this uh, drone can uh, film in 1080p and the camera itself is I don't know if you can see but is in there the camera's in there and it beams it beams to the screen which is a live feed and so after about 100 150 meters you're going to lose sight of that in the naked eye that can go I've I've heard reports of it going up to up to 1500 to 2 2000 meters flying forward and, you know it's it's and it's on the live feed so the only way you can keep an eye on where it's going is if you can if you've got the live feed coming from the front of that camera on there which is I found pretty clever you've got that button there which gives you that makes that has a live video link so you can push that and it it keeps it records all the video that's coming from that and then you've got the you've got the photo button as well which does that and a good thing about this is is because I'm a beginner I've never flown a drone I've flown a couple little indoor helicopters like everyone else has so what I wanted was something that had a few fail safes on it so when this thing flies away and you're flying it forward and you're flying it into the distance and suddenly you panic where's it gone you can push a button here and it's called a return home button and what it will do is is where you've cali where you've initially calibrated it on the floor or or on a road or path or something where you've ca calibrated the compass on it and the gps it will come and it will fly and it will land within five feet of that spot it also if it runs if you're gone too far if you've gone beyond the 1000 whatever meters and it suddenly loses contact with the remote and you lose the screen footage of it it will turn around and fly back towards you and land like I said before, within five feet of where it went to, of where it took off, which for me is great because I'm sure I will lose sight of it at some point. And also, if it runs out of battery or that runs out of battery, if that runs out of battery, that will return home. That will come and do the same thing. But if that one turns out, uh, runs out of battery, that will sometimes just land where it is. But the good thing about this, it's all GPS. It's all all done by satellite so if that does land somewhere where you don't want it to it will give you the longitude and latitude on here which you can type in a Google and Google will actually show you where it's landed and they'll give you the coordinates and then you can go and pick it up which is another fail safe which I'm really happy with but also it's got a um, it's got a another option which I'm happy which I'm going to be using quite a bit more than likely with this channel is a follow me at, uh, button and you push this button and what it does it lines you up and centers yourself right centers it centers you right in the middle of the camera with the with the transmitter and what you do you put the transmitter in your bag and what it does it follows you you don't have to you don't have to adjust where it is you just have to let it follow you you can put it at, so you set it at the height you want and then you push the follow me button, put your put your transmitter in the bag, and then where you go, just walk off, and then it will follow you and keep you in camera, 
which is great if you're if you're trying to do a presentation and something and it's flying near your head, uh, a few foot from your head and you can you can it's almost like a tripod and because it's got auto hover which which in technical speak is um is your gps basically it it will hover for you so you get it to a height you want and it will stay there so you put it into gps mode it will stay hovering um, and then you have um you have your man your manual mode where you can fly it around uh well but the main reason was for getting this was because it held well gave lots of good video and lots of good photos um also i want uh, someone on banggood had uh, designed a tripod for underneath. I say tripod. It's got it's got four legs, so it's not a tripod. It's like a quad pod, um, which actually goes underneath here, and then actually hooks to each one of the legs, and it gives you four legs underneath. But it gives you enough space under here to hook up a GoPro if you really wanted to get some four K video in there. And to be honest, I've done a lot of lot of. Uh, Product research on on this and cameras and so on, and there's a camera online called the Ekken H9, which is a kind of a Chinese camera, but it's a 4K camera, and it's the H9R. If you get the H9R, it's no bigger than a GoPro. It's got an absolute shit ton of um, accessories with it, and a lot of GoPro users buy that just solely for the accessories because. It's 40, 40, 40 quid, and the accessories with it. On if you were to buy the official GoPro accessories, that hook it up to your head cam, your bike. There's it's like nearly twenty different accessories that come with it. And to buy all those for GoPro is well into your hundreds of pounds. But to get it for that, get that camera and get all the accessories, it's great. And it's got really good reviews, and it's got four K on it, so. At some point, I'm sure once I've learned how to how to fly this, I will get that. Also, also what I've done, is I've bought a battery for it, and instead of having uh, your double A's to run this, okay, I've been told and researched online that this tears through them like nothing, and probably get a couple of flights out of them. But I've taken the back off of this just to show you. Um, I've got a lipo battery, and basically you just hook it plugs straight into that and it and it sits in there perfect and that will give me nearly 12 flights which is a big difference so i'm happy i'm sure you'll see more footage of this in action and also you'll see the camera work coming from it as well and um thank you very much for watching this is random shizzle and please subscribe thank you very much